Welcome to this video on Windows 8 tutorials for new users. My name is Nazim Skandaker and let's get started. This is the, what you're seeing right now is the main menu known as the start screen. This is how you open an app. Just click on the tile. This is how you close an app. If you want to open an app but go back to the main menu without closing it, this is how you do it. Move your mouse to the top corner, top right corner, or the bottom right corner. And then click the start button. This is how you open more than one app. Just click on other apps without closing closing other closing an app. So I didn't close the weather app, I didn't close the Internet Explorer app. Now I have three apps open. How do you know you have three apps open? Well, if you had a music app running and you, you could hear the audio, yeah, you'd know the app's open. But you could see the apps you have running in the background by moving in the top left corner. There you go. You could switch to an open app by clicking on it. And you could see a quick preview of what, where, where, what, at what part of the app you're on. To see more options on an app, just right-click on it. For example, let's do it with another app, Internet Explorer. Right-click to see the tabs. I could add a new tab and then say go here and then go here. Anyway, let's close Internet Explorer. You remember how to do that, or do that, right? Like that. Okay. What else? Of course. How do you run two apps at the same time? Let's open an app. Find another app you have open. Drag it. Put it to the side. You can move it as well, like that. You can make one bigger and one smaller. Let's close this out. Let's go back to the main menu. Let's open another app. As you can see, you can do that. You could also drag from the top and snap it on the right and take another app and put it in the left. But you can only run two apps at the same time. If you want to run three or more apps at the same time, you have to use desktop apps. You would get to the desktop by clicking on the desktop tile. It says desktop right here. And if you have used any versions of Windows before Windows 8, you know how this works. To go back to the main menu, just move your mouse to the top and click start. To see all of the apps you have running installed, right click on the start screen and click all apps. There you go. All the apps you have installed. Goody, goody, goody. Including desktop apps. Desktop apps are apps that run on the desktop. If we didn't know. Well, how do you go? How do you get back to the start screen? This should be easy. Start. How do you search for something? You could start typing. Paint. I like paint. There you go. Paint. Oops, I just clicked something by mistake. Whatever. It's a fun app. Anyway, um, what else? Uh, we went through app running, app switching. How do you change the setting of an app? Well, let's see. Let's try to change some Internet Explorer settings. Just move, open up this. Uh, this is called Charms and click Settings. The top portion is the setting for that specific app you're running and the bottom portion is setting for system, your computer settings like power, uh, internet and more settings. If you click more settings it opens the settings app. You could change your start screen color. Like that. You could change your account picture. You could change your lock screen picture and you could change other settings like that. Just exit it out like that. 
you can see more apps you have installed. Of course, you can install more apps from the App Store. This is called the Windows Store. Find an app and install it. Again, you can see the Windows Store settings from the Settings menu. If you have your phone connected, or if you have a printer connected, or a monitor connected, you can click Devices. And I don't have anything connected, so it doesn't show up here. <clears throat> but if you want to print something and you're on a, like a document, just click Devices and click Devices and click on the printer and print. Let's see. Oh yeah, by the way, you could do the same thing with the desktop. So if I have the desktop running, you could close the desktop by like this. You have Internet Explorer running. And let's open up this go back to the start menu. Have the desktop running. You could see the Internet Explorer thing right there. You could you could see the desktop and the Internet Explorer, so you could do something like this. Put this on the side. Put the desktop right here. Oh. Like that. Yeah. I'll show you why it's useful. It's a Twitter app. Put it like that. Open the desktop. There you go. I have Twitter on the side. Okay. I hope this helps. If it doesn't, let me know. If there's anything else you need, you want to know, um, I'll help you. Just let me know. Just send me a PM. If you didn't catch that, this is how you turn off an app. Go to the setting menu and there's the power button right there. Oh, sorry, turn off your computer. Well, this is it. These should help you get started. Thanks for watching.